Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of my beautiful love bugs. Um, I've gotten several people who uh, actually reached out to me. I got a couple of emails and I got some things in my comments. So I just wanted to stop in briefly um, before I get out the car to go into the office. And I wanted to let you guys know what's up with me. First of all, thank you guys um, for being concerned and caring about me. Uh, I know I've been missing for about a week now. And that's a little different because I always... Um, try to stay on point with my videos and, you know, make sure that I keep you guys abreast to what's going on. So I just wanted to let you know that I am okay. I'm safe. Um, last week was a really tough week for me. Um, I suffer with migraines and I suffer with migraines bad. And, um, so last week I had my migraine issues going on and on top of having migraine issues going on, I had some sinus issues and, um, yeah, your girl, she wasn't feeling too good. Um, so that hindered me in doing some videos and I always try to push through because I've had that um, situation for years and sometimes it can lead to other medical conditions. So um, last week I just had to realize that, okay, the body's shutting down. So um, that's what was going on with me as well. I want to let you know it wasn't all just a bad situation. Uh, I had some good things going on as well. Um, for anybody that's visited my Facebook page, you probably have stumbled upon another page, which is no longer active because I was advised I sort of need to close that one for a while because of the fact of me and my book. Um, but I have, I was going to publish through an actual company and I decided I was going to step out on faith and I was going to self-publish. Um, last year, I started with a very, very close friend. She's almost like a mother to me. Um, she was very good to me before I moved to Atlanta and she still is to this day um, when I lived in Greensboro, North Carolina. Well, last year, her granddaughter went missing. She's still missing today. Um, let me tell you, her name is Tiara Kasik Williams. She's from Greensboro, North Carolina and Tiara has been missing since January 2016. Uh, she will be, she turned 20 last year last year she turned 20 but tiara is still missing um still no leads on that but in doing so i started a facebook page for tiara and that facebook page was help find tiara Kasik williams so some of you may have stumbled across that and but um up until maybe about seven months ago everything uh, that was written on that page it was written by me um, so an actual publishing company reached out to me and I always have been in the works of doing a book, but I never followed through with it. I have the material. I have enough material for three books, um, but I never followed through with it. I was always afraid. Well, who would judge me because of my story? Who would judge me because of the things I've did in my past, the things that I've been through? And sometimes we're just frightened. So I never did it. But now I am proud to say that last week that was part of uh, what hindered me as well is that I actually stopped procrastinating. I have someone who ha is mentoring me and she gave me the process over a year ago that we're going to start. Um, you, you need to get on the ball with this book. You write so much for social media and, you know, the other page you had, the Malik Davis page, you do so much for that. I need for you to get this book out. So I started journaling years ago. I even journaled while I was in um, Atlanta and we've co we're compiling those uh, daily journals. And that is going to be my first book down in Atlanta, uh, picking up the pieces of me. So this week, I am proud to say that I actually got everything situated together and I sent it off to be edited. So now I'm in the process of I have to do the photo thing. Luckily, my daughter does photos. And oh, yeah, she's doing really well with those. She's getting a lot of business. So I'm extremely proud of her. Um, but that's basically what's going on is that I really needed to because I had somebody. Let me check the time. 
uh, I had somebody who was interested in helping me better myself and interested in helping me tell my story. So I couldn't disappoint her because she was doing it to help me. So that's what I was tied up doing. I was trying to get my health back together and I was trying to get this book to where it could be edited and I hopefully it will be out no later than the end of June. So that's what I've been working on. Um so that's that. I thank you guys for loving me and making me feel like we are truly family. That's what being family is about. And I want to tell you this before I go. Uh like I said I, I always have this stupid thing that pops up on my phone. I don't know. Sometimes we get viruses or something on our phone, but it pops up. So if you see my hand going up, that's what I was doing. I was removing it from the phone. But what I want to tell you guys is that I do love you a, but a bunch. You've given me safety. You've given me security that I may not have in my everyday life. Uh, you guys are really caring and that makes me feel good. But what I do want to tell you is that Sometimes it's the greatness burning in us and it's not the people that's around us. We get some, some, some mean spirited people around us, but sometimes we are afraid to succeed. When I say we're afraid to succeed, I want to personalize that for you and tell you me. Sometimes I know what I'm capable of doing. I have all these thoughts in my head and things that I can do to make me a better person or get me where I'm supposed to go. And um, I get afraid. I get scared. Uh, sometimes we're terrified of success. And it goes back to what I posted several weeks about what if I fall. Uh, and I always say, what if I fail? But oh my darling, what if you succeed? What if you fly? Um, so I just want to tell you, anytime you have a gift, anytime you have a word, that God really intends for you to share with others or show others that you can overcome, that you are not your past. You are not where you come from. It is going to be frightening because change and greater is uncomfortable and it's meant to be uncomfortable because anything worth having is worth fighting for and it won't be easy. Don't be afraid to succeed. That is what God intends for us to do. He is a jealous, he is a selfish God when it comes to his kids and he instills a lot in us and he intends for us to shine. Don't be worried about if somebody else can't handle your shine. They got to put on shades in order to deal with it because God created us to shine and each and every last one of us, we have a gift burning within us. Do not let the naysayers make you scared of your own success. It's meant to be. So I'm going to get out of here because we know I'm still punching a clock. And um, I'm going to go have an absolutely wonderful day. And in doing so, I want you guys to have a wonderful day too. Uh, I've been working on something and I wasn't able to put it up just yet. But tonight I will post a video. I haven't just escaped. I'm still around and tonight I will post a video and I want to tell my love folks, I love you guys so much. Have an absolutely beautiful day and don't let anyone tell you you're not great. We are only as great as we think we are. Love you guys. Once again, my name is Malik Davis. I thank you so much for stopping through the 40 pieces of me today. You guys have an absolutely beautiful day.